The last part of our technical drawing is to represent the design in an isometric extrusion. We first need to return to the drawing in which we unified the three parts of our design. We give the stroke and the fill the same color. In this next step, we need to know uh, the depth in millimeters converted to point. You can do this by going online. Now select uh, the design, go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. Uh, here uh, you'll get a preview. In the Position menu, select Isometric Left. Now we can extrude at 113 point because um, 14 millimeters is 113 points. We can now head to more options and here we have uh, control over uh, the level of smoothness of curves and we can add additional um, spots of light. Your task is really to uh, make sure that the object is rendered properly, um, that you have a sense of three dimensionality. Now for the whole of our candle holder, we're just gonna start with um, a circle um, at 15 millimeters in diameter, go to 3D extrusion tool, where here we apply isometric top and then um, bring the extrusion depth to zero. Um, click on preview to have a look at it and there we have it. So um, we now need just to convert this um, into regular vectors by going to expand appearance under object and then delete any additional um, uh, shapes which are not required by going to the direct selection tool and deleting two of the three ellipses. Uh, our task now is just simply to make a stroke and fill and the, the stroke can be a little darker uh, than the fill um, and we'll use the gradient tool in order to uh, give it a sense of uh, hollowness. Let's move our lips into position and just center it on the very top plane. With the gradient tool on the left hand side, we can um, nominate the direction we, we want the gradient um, to take effect. And then we can go to the right hand side while the object is selected and then click on the gradient sliders and just play around with um, the core color and the, um, uh, the shade. Now, when it comes to modifying any of the effects, do not go back to the effects tool. Um, you need to go through a, the appearance tool. And there you can select uh, the effect itself and you can play around and modify it in any which way you'd like. Uh, but do not go through the effect tool um, um, in which you first created uh, the extrusion. Just go through appearance. You can also change the colors of your stroke and fill. Time to make a copy of our extrusion and take it to our final design. Paste it in the top right corner. Uh, here we can actually uh, convert our effect into regular uh, vectors and shapes. This will permit us to treat this like any other vector object. Our design is now complete.